Horns and Wrinkles by Joseph Helgerson How can you tell if a river's under a spell? River trolls, rock trolls, blue wing fairies, the usual suspects. My name's Claire. That's my cousin Duke dangling me off the bridge. Luckily, this strange old lady caught me in her boat. That day was the start of Duke's troubles. Well, troubles to me. He started growing this horn right after that happened, and it gets longer every time he's a bully. Unfortunately, he likes being a bully, and he actually likes growing this horn. Oh, did I mention I get along better with turtles and toads a lot better than my sisters? I do love my family, though, and when my aunt and uncle and my grandpa get turned to stone, that's when I start having to deal with the trolls up close and personal. Even the dog got turned to stone. That's when I learned I had to find it. The stone feather, that is. You see, when a troll puts a curse and turns people into stone, you have to find that troll's stone feather to turn him back into people. Of course, trolls aren't going to help you out of the goodness of their heart. They asked me for my help. Well, they didn't really ask. They needed my help to get shooting stars. They needed to trade the shooting stars to get the crickets. Of course, the crickets lie about everything, but you'll find that out when you read the book. So if you want to see if I can save my family from a life as statues and maybe stop my cousin from turning into a troll on the outside, he already was a troll on the inside, read Horns and Wrinkles 